let's take a look at how to create a very quick PDF inside of Adobe Photoshop CC. Whenever you start working on things like a uh, PDF for a portfolio to show to clients or to a prospective new boss, the first thing that I would suggest that you do is you copy all of your files into a brand spanking new folder. That way, if you ever have to make any changes, you can feel free to go ahead and do that, and you won't overwrite, your, overwrite the original files. So keep those original files pristine and intact. I'm working from a file that, uh, from a folder that I have already created, and I'm just going to open these guys inside of Photoshop. Okay, now this is really simple. Just go up to File, come down to Automate, PDF Presentation. You're going to be presented with a couple of choices. You want to add the open files if you already have them open inside of Photoshop like we do, or you can go out and you can browse to wherever your files are located and choose those instead. Under Output Options, you can have a traditional multi-page document as a PDF, or you can have the PDF open in a presentation format, which means it will take over the entire screen. What we're going to do today is just a multi-page document, something simple and plain. Under the Includes, you have choices. You have file name, title, description, author, copyright, exif info, does this look familiar? If you watch the metadata video, this looks very familiar to you. I'm going to choose to include the file name because I noticed that when I, I did this output a couple of times for this presentation, I noticed that the font gets really, really large. So just in case you don't have access to Adobe Acrobat Professional, just keep the keep the titles simple, keep the information simple, that way it'll all fit on your screen a lot easier. Okay, now this is all set, ready to go. Go ahead, go ahead and click Save. I'm going to save this as PDF Portfolio. Actually, let's do this a different way. Portfolio underscore PDF. I'm going to save it right on my desktop, click Save. I get some more choices. You can optimize for fast web preview, that's just fine. I want to be able to see my PDF after it's saved. Another thing that I wanted to bring to your attention is that you can set permissions and you can also set a password. Set the password if you are not sure how many people are going to see this. <laughs> it, um, this is a great thing and it can restrict the number of people that can actually open the file. Okay, I'm not going to set that at this time for this demonstration. Take a look at the permissions down here. You can use a password to restrict the printing, editing, and other tasks. For example, they wouldn't be able to pull off one of your images if you set this permissions password. So I am going to do that right now. Is printing allowed? Well, you could allow uh, a potential, potential client or a potential boss to print one. That would be just fine. But you might want to consider the resolution. If you allow them to print a high resolution, that could present a problem if, you, if they actually haven't committed to you in a contract form. So you may want to choose low resolution for the printing. For the changes allowed, you can say that no one is able to make any changes to my document, or if you need to allow something, you could. But I'm going to leave this set as none for now. I do not want to enable the copying of text, images, and other content for sure. But I do want to be able to enable the text access of screen reader devices for the visually impaired. The more accessibility you have in your PDFs, the better everybody is. The better off everybody is. <laughs> okay, now there's also an option here. If you'd like to save this preset, you can, so you don't have to go back and do this every time you create a, P cre create a PDF. I think this looks pretty good. Let's save. Confirm the password. There we go. 
Now, I want you to look at something. You see this text down here? I'm going to open that portfolio folder and show you. I had to change the naming of my files just a little bit so that it looked better on this screen. Instead of using underscores and camel case like you normally do inside of HTML, fi HTML files, do it as a human readable form. That way Adobe Acrobat knows how to better place that text and it, and it just looks better. Okay, so there's this guy. I'm just going to keep going through. That looks really great. Beautiful. As a final tip, when I was playing with all my settings, just make sure that the width of each one of your images is the same, whatever you choose. And also, make sure that the DPI is the same from image to image. Otherwise, if that DPI is not the same, you're going to get some pages that are really, really big, and you're going to get some pages that are really, really small. So save yourself a headache. Set that DPI the same for every single image. See you guys in the next film.